everybody, my name is Kayla Rundle. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be washing my car. It has a little bit of residue from when I removed the wrap. So I'm going to give it a good wash and I think I'm going to hit it with a one step um, compound slash ceramic infuse. This is not a sponsored video if you guys are wondering. It's called Angel Wax. Um, Sam recommended this to me. He owns a detailing company. So you have to work it into the paint. We'll see how it works because my car has a lot of surface scratches on it and it has spots on the car from when I removed the bag up here where the camera letters are. So we're going to get this car all cleaned up because I'm still not going to be having the wrap on it for another month since I will be getting a new wrap on it. I want my paint to be protected in the meantime so I'm not embarrassed of driving around my car with it looking not shiny because I do love shiny cars. So. I'm gonna get her cleaned up today, and I know you guys love washing videos, so enjoy. I'm sure I've already recommended this already, but you guys know the best soap is by Superior Image. If it loads, it's called Maxi Foam, and it's pink. So look at when you put a little bit, it's so cute. Um, amazing soap, I definitely recommend this. This is undiluted, they do un un all undiluted products basically, except for a few that are in cans, but it's the best bang for your buck amazing so recommend this but i too lazy to get out my pressure washer every time i wash my car so this is what we make do I just finished drying off the car and giving it a quick wash. I didn't touch the wheels because I cleaned that last week. And they're already pretty decent. So now I'm going to do the Enigma. And I'm going to test it out on this driver panel since that's going to have to be repainted or replaced because of the damage from the crash. So always pick a spot on the car to test out a product that you haven't used before. So that's what I'm going to do. And I haven't polished or compounded a car in a long time. So... Let's do it.
All right, so I just want to give you guys a few quick tips on compounding your car. Uh, what I'm doing today is not anything crazy. It's not a three-step, two-step. This is literally just a one-step product. It's super simple. Um, I'm almost done with the car. I still have the rear bumper to do, but it was pretty easy. It hasn't taken me long at all. I've just kind of been whipping through it. So I use this Angel Wax Enigma. Amazing product. It has ceramic coating in it as well. And then I use it, I have this, it's like the Roots 215. I've had this for like a couple years. This was like my Christmas gift. It's funny, this is like what I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> um, and I still use it and I've used it on so many cars and these things last forever. And you also have to pay attention to what kind of pad you use. The different color pads have different grits or like they have different, the different courses or whatever you call it. Um, you mix it with different compounds or polishes depending on what it is the yellow is my favorite because it's the most universal it like cuts and polishes kind of does everything without a beef too coarse so I use the yellow pad with the enigma going around my car and in order to do it correctly all you have to do is put it on the car and you want to watch that this is always flat to the surface so if the surface is going this way you want to move the polisher this way to match it. You don't want to be correcting like this and then scratching it with this. Seems like common sense, but it's really hard to like pay attention to what you're doing. You really just have to watch where the surface is going and then make sure to turn this as you're doing it. Along with that, when you are correcting your car, there is a pattern that you want to use this machine with and they call it cross hatching in design. Um, I think that's what they call it in this bottle. <laughs> On the bottle they call it a crosswise motion but anyways you put it on the you put the material on here which you'll see probably in some of my clips usually just do like three to four dots not too much not too little enough to where this doesn't get too hot or runs out of material because you don't want to take this dry to your paint always have enough liquid on your paint while you are working with it and then you put it on the car you kind of spread it around you can put it on speed one to do that or just kind of rub it around then you turn it up to your desired speed and then you move in a crisscross pattern so I usually go up and down all the way across and then you have to switch motions and then you go side to side and then just follow the same area that you just did and I sometimes do that a couple times you kind of just watch how the material is working um, this it'll kind of turn it's not hazy it turns like so a, a clear film that's how you know it's done you kind of wait for it to settle before you take off. This one you, I let sit for like five, 10 minutes before I wipe it off since it does have a ceramic in it. I want it to sit on my paint for as long as possible but without it like gluing to my paint. And then you just wipe it off and it's done. You don't even have to put a protectant over the compound after this since this does have the ceramic coating in it. So pretty happy with this. I didn't perfect my car before I put the sand wrap on it so when I debadged it, there was like a lot of scratch marks and residue left over from all the badges. So a few passes with this, took it off super easy. Okay, now on to the wheels. These are actually ceramic coated, so they don't get that bad, but I think I've cleaned them enough to where the ceramic coating's wearing off because I've put a lot of chemicals on it like you're not really supposed to. But the wheels and tires are pretty simple on my car. Um, if your tires get like super dirty, which I like never drive my car, so it's really easy 
You take a all-purpose cleaner onto the tire to clean them and then put tire shine on top of that because this tire shine will last longer and be a lot shinier so you don't have to apply a ton of tire shine on. And for the wheels, I usually just kind of pick a detail spray. I didn't even clean these for this wash because I've driven my car a mile since I washed it last. It's just been sitting out a ton. Um, but for the wheels, I just take detail spray and I spray it down and I just take an old microfiber that's kind of dirty, which is this one, even though it doesn't look dirty, but I have so many. So this one it is because I used it twice already. Um, but I just use this and just hand wipe down my wheels and get them all clean. I'll show you guys. Usually I use Adam's detail spray on my wheels because it's just a good wheel detailer or I use bead maker, but I like to save the bead maker for my paint because this stuff is kind of expensive. Then after the wheels, I'm gonna work on the glass. I'm gonna use the PNS glass cleaner. PNS is a great, great, great brand. Um, they're the ones that make the bead maker, which I love. Great guys. They work alongside the rag company as well which is these microfibers. And I've mentioned this in the past video before, but if you guys don't know, I was a grand ambassador for the rag company. So you can use code Kayla Rundell 15 on the rag company's website for 15% off. I'm not just saying that and no, I don't get paid if you guys use that discount code. It's purely for you guys to get save a little bit of money. And I've been using their products forever. So the fact that I became a grand ambassador was great. So I was pumped on it, even though I already had a ton of microfibers and I have way too many. But anyways, highly recommend their products. They also sell the PNS glass cleaner and the bead maker on their website. And if you're buying Adams or want to check out their stuff, you can as well. Um, Adams Polishes is a great uh, detail company for people that are beginner detailers. Um, not so much for like full-on professionals because their products do get a little bit expensive. If you guys want a ton, a ton of details products for cheaper, I recommend Superior Image. But Adams is great. They have great scents. <laughs> if you guys are into scents for like for Christmas and pumpkin spice, it's one of my favorite. I got the pumpkin spice stuff. If you, I'm sure you guys know that I love the pumpkin spice. But anyways, let me get to cleaning this. I just finished polishing the entire car. It looks amazing now <laughs> and i just posted on my story the rat companies that's why those are all folded nice on my fender but i'm happy that this side of the car looks really nice it's weird not to see it with the side skirts and the front lip but it's nice to have it all clean paint feels amazing again so let's get to cleaning this the wheels and tires <laughs> because I was pretty sad about it looking so ugly for a while. It's probably because the paint was just so dull and it looked like a POS. <laughs> but now the car looks so much better. Now I'm not as embarrassed driving it around even though the quarter panel is still messed up. But now it looks way better. Like, look at that contrast. It's amazing. I love that car now. Um, but that was like super super easy. I took my time. It took me like four hours to do that But I think I've been like fooling around also at the same time. That's not like straight work I'd say you could probably finish that entire thing under two hours with the wash and everything But just to give you guys an update on the quarter panel for the Camaro I did end up picking side skirts up for the Camaro. I drove down to Tucson, Arizona this past weekend to grab them from another Camaro owner um, pretty cheap got them for 120 bucks. So not too bad. So I got the door as well off of a Hot Wheels fifth gen So it's gonna be a blue door with black side skirts um, Eventually, I'm gonna get the repainted. I think in the meantime, I'm just gonna wrap them since I am getting a new wrap color I don't want to destroy my new paint job by getting a fresh paint job and then rewrapping it so I'm going to put those panels on myself and then 
The corner panel will be pretty easy in the shop since they're not going to be painting it. Probably just weld it in and prime it and then all the other parts will be done by myself to save costs. So I'll be making videos on that as well. I've never torn apart a door or the side skirt, so hopefully that goes good. But anyways, I'm glad to have this car clean. I am heading out this weekend. I'm going to Kansas City, so stay tuned for that video. I am checking out possibly the Weld Racing Facility. They're under the MW company with Momo and C CCW and all those. So that'll be interesting. I have no idea what to expect, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get some welds in the future for this car. So I'm so excited for that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know the drill. Check out my TikTok and Instagram. Everything is Kayla Rundle. Press the bell notifications button up above so you get notified on what my next videos are for the channel. I'm trying to push out a video at least once a week, I'm trying to stay on top of it. <laughs> I know you guys get on me like, Kayla, keep posting, stay consistent. Guys, I'm trying my best. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will see you guys in the next one in Kansas City. Bye.